Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Burke, NotYourBoringAgent.com. And I'm Jessica Cialella, Mortgage Loan Officer with Loan Flight Home Loans here in Tampa. And today we're going to be talking about closing costs and a, and a closing disclosure and who pays for what. Yeah, what, what are closing costs? What are closing costs? It's a million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to go in, in, into it. And closing costs are something that is just costs that you have to pay in order to buy or sell a house. And it's important to understand buyers do have, you know, closing cost expenses, typically more line items to own the home, whereas sellers do have costs as well for selling a home. And despite the myths and everything that you might hear, the seller, the selling party, is actually the party that pays the real estate commissions both to the listing agent that's selling the home and the buyer's agent, so the agent that's representing the buyer. So that's important to understand. That's typically a seller's expense, despite what you may have heard. Rumors. <laughs> so yeah, so the seller does pay the commissions for the buyer's agent and the seller and the listing agent. Um, as a buyer, you're looking at around two to five percent in closing cost of the purchase price. Of the purchase price. Um, and as a seller, you're looking at anywhere between five to 10% um, only because you're paying commissions. And a standard commission is gonna be um, about 6% plus two or 3% additional for closing cost. So just make sure that that's kind of like a rough estimate to kind of go off of. Um, the thing you can do as a buyer's agent and as a buyer, you can request your closing costs to be covered by the seller. So, if you're purchasing a home and you just have enough money for a down payment, you can ask um, in your offer um, for the closing costs to be paid by the seller to help save you about 2% um, at additional out of pocket at a closing. Right, and it depends on the loan amount and you know loan size that you're financing as far as how much can be covered as a buyer. But typically, you know, you can, it doesn't have to be a specific percentage. It can be a flat, you know, flat, flat amount, flat rate, and, if that is given to you, it'll be then reduced from what's due of you at, at the closing. closing. So of course you don't know every home, a really common question that I receive is when people are, they haven't even specifically found a home, they're like, how much do I need in closing costs? And unfortunately there's really no definitive answer mm -hmm. just because every home is so different. Mm -hmm. So every home, has you know a roof life that's shorter or longer so insurance can be different property taxes are different on each home you know mm -hmm. there's so many moving parts flood insurance you know where is it located is there a HOA fee is there a CDD all of these things are reflective of you know what potentially costs could come up in the transaction so it's always safe to kind of give that 2 to 5% estimate i would say leaning closer to the 5% if you're in somewhere that has a flood zone, CDD, HOA fees, you know, higher price pointed areas, whereas lesser, you know, maybe lower loan amounts in, you know, an area with a low tax bill, no homeowners association, you'll kind of lean more towards, you know, lesser two to 3% range on top of your required down payment. Yep. So um, what do you feel like, what are some common costs that you want to touch on that maybe some people don't understand and you want to help well, I think we're seeing right now interest rates are creeping up a little bit and there's some things called mortgage points. Mm -hmm. And I like to, if we're on the cusp of someone trying to figure out their interest rate, you can kind of buy down um, your mortgage. So Jessica can explain that to you through mortgage points. Of course. So points are, it's basically a percentage of the loan amount. Mm -hmm. And um, now points... They don't have to be paid for. You don't have to buy down your interest rate should nope. you decide not to. Some people actually take it in the opposition and they will raise their rate in order to help themselves with some closing costs. So if we're on a you know teetering scale and in a wonderful world, you know two percent is the going rate today for a buyer like Steven. He's got you know seven hundred credit score, you know minimal debts. So let's say he gets a two percent today, but He's really cutting it close with his you know, cash to close. He needs some help with closing costs. He could elect to take a two you know, and a half hypothetical percent, I wish that would exist, <laughs> <laughs> to wish. cover his closing costs. Or maybe he's really payment conscious or you know, maybe he just wants an additional tax write-off to yep. buy down an interest rate and have that as a you know, investment expense at the end of the year. You can buy down to a 
you know, one point seven five, a one, you know, one point six two five, whatever you should decide. And so anything below the going interest rate will cost you money, whereas anything above the going interest rate will credit you money towards your closing costs. So you have some options there as far as that goes. And typically, give or take on the loan size, you can expect every tier of, they say every $1,000 on a you know, mortgage loan amount, your payment will probably give or take yield anywhere from like 10 to 20, you know, $27, depending on loan size, if we're within conforming loan limit range. So some things to look, look for um, when we get the CD, the closing d disclosure, um, are some hidden fees that are going in there. Um, some things, like it depends on what lender you're using, but I know with Jessica, there is never like an application fee. Nope. nope. Um, or Be weary of the application fee. Yes. <laughs> Those are some things that you can kind of dispute and kind of get a credit or get it removed to help save you some closing costs up front. Um, some things that you can't really change um, are the um, appraisal. That is what it is. It's by the appraisal management company. So that's kind of like a third party that mm -hmm. hires appraisers. So they give the lender the fee, the lender charges the buyer the fee. You'll see that on your closing disclosure. That is, however, a cost that is prepaid. So that you'll see that once you get, you initially get a loan estimate at the start of the process, we disclose every fee that you could possibly incur up front to then once you're down to the, you know, three days before closing, you'll get your closing disclosure and it'll show that you have already paid for that appraisal fee. So that'll be split off for you. So um, services that you cannot shop for, obviously the appraisal, the um, specific title work and things such as that, as far as lenders policies, owner policy, things like that. The title company really serves as a middleman yep. in a real estate transaction. They're, you know, protecting the, everything. Yeah, they're the coordinators. They protect the seller and the buyer. They're transferring the owner home ownership and making sure that it can you know change hands freely. I'm not gonna buy Steven's house and then Steven's pool boy is gonna come <laughs> after me and say Steven never paid me a bill. You know, give me ten thousand dollars. Yes, you better not have. No. <laughs> and that's why you have title insurance and you have things like that to kind of help protect you. Um, so those are other fees that you're gonna see in the closing disclosure. You're gonna see um, a credit report pool. Um, sometimes you know there's a fee associated with that. Sometimes you can kind of get it removed. It just give or take. It depends. And then you've got you know a typically you'll have either an underwriting or a um, processing fee. Just give or take. It depends on the lender on how they structure that. Mm -hmm. um, that's really just their cost to do the loan. Mm -hmm. Then you've got you're going to prepay your escrow account, assuming that that's what you're structuring your loan to be as, meaning that every year your bills are just paid out through your escrow account that you've been paying into and you'll have a setup of your taxes and your insurance so then a part of your closing costs is you have to pay into that account your taxes and your insurance so every year you won't be hit with your tax bill because you've already yep. been contributing to it every month it's you know like an automated savings account yep. per se so it helps you there save some money for you instead of having to come out of pocket you know with the premium so then you have, uh, we can do a whole other video on doc stamps um, oh, yes. <laughs> and what a millage rate is and all, all the that other stuff. stuff. That's a whole other separate video, but you'll see that um, on there. And then notary, they have to notarize all the, the documents right. and stuff. They have to pay a notary to have everything, um, you know, done in that manner. Um, Signed, sealed, and delivered. Yes. Recording fees. So the recording fees are done by the title company. It records your deed, um, changes hands through the online search engine, or not online search engine. <laughs> through the county. Through the county, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then we have the real estate commissions, of course, that are paid by the seller. Um, the buyers typically do not pay for any of the commissions. Right, absolutely. So also another thing is home warranty. Um, as a buyer, you can pay for your own home warranty or you can request it in the initial offer that the home warranty be paid by the seller. Um, so no sellers will pay for a year or two years of a home warranty just in case anything goes wrong with the property. Um, and of course, new construction is always some of my favorites um, and those do come with a warranty from the builder. Nice. And then so at the closing, once you're ready to close and the money that you wire before you sign off on everything, that will include all of your closing costs and your down payment minus anything that you've paid for already, your earnest money deposit and your appraisal fee, any other you know 
inspections that you may have paid for, like a WDO for a VA loan, things like that, if you took a first time home buyer course. And something to be mindful of for those of you that are out seeking loans that maybe advertise as no money out of pocket, zero closing costs. So of course, as we've explained, there's some costs that are you know, absolutely mandated on a home loan closing. We can't control, you know, what Hillsborough County charges for their doc stamps and things like that. So with that in mind, just understand that if people are advertising no closing costs, it's likely going to be added somewhere else. Perhaps yep. your interest rate, maybe not. But always, you know, keep an eye out for things like that. There's often, you know, more than meets the eye. And I always recommend, and Stephen can agree, I don't typically recommend going down maybe in price because the price doesn't necessarily save them the money out of pocket yep. so some people are so hungry for a price reduction but the price reduction probably doesn't get that buyer to a price point that they want payment wise yet if they can save five thousand dollars because the seller is willing to cover it you know then that's money out of their pocket okay. that they can apply to the mortgage you know so just kind of changing our thinking and kind of understand ways around figuring out what we're trying to accomplish and and everyone's different, so that's why I love even with, whether it's a buyer or a seller, meet with them, what are your goals as a seller, what is your bottom line, um, Are you? did you just buy your house like a year ago, are you maybe underwater, um, what kind of closing costs, can you offer closing costs, what's our bottom line. As a buyer, do you have just barely enough of a down payment that you're needing um, per your loan type, do we need a request that the closing cost be a credit, um, or it, it, we're gonna have to go to the lender and see if the lender can do anything to help with closing costs. So um, each situation is different and there's always a solution for everything. It's just finding the right solution that works for you. Perfect, so, absolutely. Anything else? I think, we, I think we got it. Good. If you have any questions, just let us know. Please feel free to either message us, comment on our Facebook page, or find us on YouTube. Awesome, and let us know what you guys wanna see next. We're always open to ideas. We yes. get some some requests every now and then, so we'll keep them going, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. See ya.